It's now a month since President Muhammadu Buhari inaugurated new ministers and the Ministry of Works and Housing retained by Babatunde Fashola pledged to, to address housing deficits by delivering 1 million houses per year to close the 17 million shortfall by the year 2033. Correspondent Habib Lawal now reviews the 30 days in office of the two ministers. Upon assumption of office, Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashola suspended all leaves and travels for all workers of the ministry because of the urgent need to get the budget ready on time. One of the first things we have to do is to quickly forge out a budget for the Ministry of Works and Housing. And we have to do that, I am told, in the next two weeks. The first official task undertaken was the inspection of the Federal Housing Authority mass housing project in Zuba, designed specifically to address the huge housing deficit for the middle and low income earners. The project was said to have been delayed due to the rainy season. It's at 75% completion, and uh, I've gone around, I've seen all the units. This project was started, uh, actually, it was approved in 2017. Uh, and this is the pilot, and we hope to replicate them in other places, starting from, I think, two sites in Abuja here. Absence of a skilled workforce has been a critical obstacle to the industrialization of the economy. Inspecting the electrical and mechanical training school in Abuja, the minister, Babatunde Fashola, pledged to revitalize the institution to produce technical, vocational, and professional skills that will support Nigeria's economic growth and development. We need to improve on the standards. Uh, we must acknowledge the uh, vision of those who came before us to set up this training school. Uh, our desire is to improve it and optimize. All of them will have reached uh, the minister is determined to continue the construction of new roads and the maintenance of existing roads that have gone bad and need urgent attention. To this end, the Ministry of Work secured approval from the Federal Executive Council for the construction and rehabilitation of 14 roads and other strategic infrastructure projects. 166 billion naira was recently approved for some major federal roads in the country. This approval is expected to have some significant improvement on the nation's transportation system. Council approved a revision of 519 million uh, to cater for the change in cost of materials and all of that since the project was awarded, I think, in 2009 so that the contractor can finish. So the contract sum has been revised from 3.7 to 4.3 billion. Rail transportation will also be given a boost with additional fund injected in the extension of rail lines in Lagos and the revised total cost of the Ajokuta Itakwe rail line. Habi Dalawal, TVC News, Abuja.